Good morning folks, uh, another quick video for you. This is going to be a, a finishing video. Okay, you can see I've just done this three panel wall plaque. Waveform, you can have it that way or that way, whichever you prefer. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to color and burn it. And I'm going to be trying a bit of a different kind of coloring this time. This is a serving platter fruit bowl but it's more the color and texture that's come out. So I burnt it, sanded it, painted it, and then burnt it again. And I'm gonna give that a try on this one to see how it looks. I'm gonna show you how I do it. All right, step one, regular map gas torch. Light it up. And off we go. Okay, that's the middle one done. I'll do the other two um, off camera and I'll come back and show you the next step. Okay, that's the first complete burn. Uh, that's just step one though. So it's I don't want to burn it too much, too heavy, too quickly. I get lots of splits and cracks. So now I'm going to burn it again uh, till it actually starts to char and that will be the final burn step. Okay, that's full burn. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a heavy scouring pad, scrub brush. And to get an idea how this is going to look, I'm going to give it a quick wipe with some mineral spirits. Hopefully these colors will come across. I will give that a few minutes to dry off and then we can start with some paint. Yeah, it's had a chance to, a uh, really good chance to dry out. What I'm going to do is take a uh, wet cloth, it's water, remove any of the residue of the spirits because I'm going to be using uh, fusion paint. Fusion paint is a mineral paint. This stuff is great. I get this stuff from a local store, local store called Home Revival, Sarah Paley. Uh, these are about 20 pounds a tub, but they last forever. One little drop of this will do one of these entire boards. Uh, I'll show you. Very much uh, worth the money, but check them out. And I'm going to start with some colors. Uh, This one's called ceramic, kind of like a turquoise. I'm not doing anything excessive, I'm just going to dab some of this on. Okay, I'm just looking for highlights of it. I'm going to be wiping it all off in a minute. Uh, 
Right there, this stuff is good. It bonds and penetrates with the wood so quickly. I'm going to go for a bit of gray, some shadow texture. called raw silk. That's that. All right, now I'm going to wipe the whole board again. Might look like a complete mess, don't, <laughs> don't worry about that. Alright, getting there. That a minute, let that sit in, and then wipe that off again. All right, that's had a chance to dry. Kind of seeing the dabbling effect. Now I will give it a sand, and we'll see how it looks. I'm using 240 grit sandpaper. It's looking pretty interesting to me. Okay, so I've put the few um, little odds and ends, bits of coats on there. I've given it a rough once over with uh, some sandpaper. And now I'm going to give it a coat with the uh, Schlack sanding sealer. And we'll see how it comes out. Gotta give it a chance to dry and then we'll take a look. Alright, that's pretty much that. I'm happy with how the this how it's looked. It's um different, it's unique. I'll put this down for a sec. So the frontal view on how it looks. Obviously not its final resting place. I just wanted to hang it there so I could get some natural light on it. Thought it looked kind of cool. Hope you guys like it. Thought that was even remotely interesting. If you like it, great, leave a comment. If you don't like it, great, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye.